So we're just getting dressed and going to meet a judge for a drink, <laughs> as you do, a German judge who was lovely and very interesting man, obviously, with that kind of job. So um, we're going to meet him in a bit. Just waiting for Brian to do a poo. <laughs> Just wait for Brian to poop. <laughs> okay. Mwah. Happiness. I haven't stopped smiling all day today. It has been such a great day. Yesterday I uh, called the steering stick. I have to show you the view from our hotel room. This is amazing. At Interlaken. Today's gonna to be slow going, there's just too much to look at. Uh, look at this, it's beautiful. Good morning. So this is officially our last day abroad, which is really sad. The plan is today. We have, so is it, what day is it? 20? Day 21, possibly. We're going to go up to Bruges, which is only about an hour away from Zeebrugge, which we're ca where we're catching the ferry. So we're gonna go about four hours riding today. Well, we plan on getting uh, mules and frites, and then I can diet when I get back, because somebody's getting chubby. Oh, look at cute butt. Hello. I'll go chat to Brian. It's just packing up the bikes over here. So Brian, how are you feeling about our last day? I'm just looking for moves and treats. Yeah, that's the thing guys. We're pretty easy. Let us ride, let us eat and sleep. It's the first of many, so you know, yeah. it's sad it's come to an end, but it's a lifelong dream that I've fulfilled. And we are planning more trips. There's no way this could be our one and only we are so doing more i'm feeling a little bit subdued today i think because i know it's the last day oh, i'm gonna miss it so much i'm going back i've got itchy bites more than mozzies i've got bee bites got bruises from when i've got matching bruises one from up a hill when i dropped the bike up the mountain and the other one from bashing repeatedly into the corner of the same bed <laughs> weird tan lines right, you can't really see it on here to be honest, I think we need to go back to give our clothes a break, get washed, and give everybody else a break from, we'll probably stink. And we need to not eat everything, so a diet would be good. And my hair is frazzled as anything today. That ride yesterday, just, whoop. Okay, we're going now.
Just watching a, a woman ride a horse and cart down there. Impressive. Thanks. Um, so we're going to go over there to the clock tower. So here we go. There's the Belgium that I saw that Brian has yet to see. Brian, I stood here on my own. Yes. Isn't it lovely? We're going to have to get photos as well. Yeah. Oh, Marzi can and Luba. That's, oh my gosh, look at the big chunks of Marzi can. Ginger cop. Yes, we'll come back. Because then we can just put them on the bikes. Okay, see you in a minute. <laughs> there, I went all the way up there. Yeah. First time Brian's seeing this. <laughs> <laughs> you finally made it, darling. <laughs> Caroline spent her birthday here on her own. With another man. <laughs> I can't fucking breathe with these things on. You see, we can get some food. This is what I remember. There you go, Brian. Mules. You're not allowed in that way. Come to go here? Got into Bruges after. Oh, thank you. <laughs> What's that? There's some bread. Oh, wonderful! Well, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I think we went down the wrong way street, so hopefully we won't get a ticket. Also, I'm not sure we part where we should because apparently it's just for cars. <laughs> but it's beautiful here today. Have to wear masks everywhere. It's obviously not while we sit down. Thank you. Here you go. Um, I'm trying to remember where, where I went all those years ago, but I think it's that way. We got little, look at those little snuggies. They, they obviously know a desperate person when they see one. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Um, so we're just going to have a quick squeeze around. We've got a couple of hours before we have to go up to Zubuga to get the ferry. We're going to have food here, wander around and then hopefully get waffles. Yes. 
are we gonna get Chai Bing? <gasps> They're here. Okay, wait. <laughs> oh, this smells amazing. Right. You can go away now. Finally got animals and freaks. You happy? Yeah. So we're gonna go to um, one of the main squares where are we gonna get one? That's not a money joke. Where um, we are going? Oh fuck yeah! Sorry, sorry, Brian. Thank you. Uh, oh, did you see that? Just been told off for not having a mask. Yeah, so they're on it here in Belgium, but I guess they have a spike with the COVID. So the police are just riding around and telling you what to do, and you know, ah, got it in the wrong way. Just putting it on the right way. So this is the first time we, first time we've ever had to wear the mask outside. Is that right? Yeah. We've never had to in any place we've been, especially outside. Yeah, I mean, we're in this. No one. <laughs> it seems crazy because then when you sit in cafes and stuff, you take your mask off. But whew, I have to say it's hot with this on. Oh, here it is. This is it. So where we're going now is beautiful and stunning. And it's in the film Le Bruges. Is it Un Bruges? Le Bruges? This is the where I spent my 30th birthday on my own. This place. Not a bad place to spend my birthday on my own. And I wouldn't have minded it. Except I spent the whole day searching for this gorgeous hunk of meat over here. Didn't know, darling. Mm -hmm. So here we are in the center. And this is where I climbed this. I don't know how many times. 11 years ago. But look how beautiful it is. Amazing, isn't it? Okay, look at that. So this is where you want to go. But you can't take any photos or really talk into camera because you do wear your mask. The police stop you and tell you off. But look at look how beautiful, Brian. It's just gorgeous. And I sat on the stairs here. This is where I spent most of my day. Here, just watching the crowds. You shouldn't have left it, eh? <laughs> it's um, gothic, isn't it? Do you think? Okay. Getting hot. We have to quarantine when we get home. So no riding our bikes for two weeks. Two weeks. Oh, sad about that. That's broken. We've been recommended waffles from the waitress. And she said it's this side. She was lovely. Well, isn't it gorgeous? Waffles. No. Ah, oh, look at that shop. Gotta show you this shop. It smells so good. Don't be very excited, I found the waffle house. We are recommended your waffles, so we've come all the way down here to see them. What are you having? So ask. What do you want? Everything. <laughs> like all in one go. Like a big bar. My waffle. Even though I'm super full, it has to be done. Oh, I'm dripping chocolate everywhere. Oh well. I like it. our trousers can get dirtier really. Um yum. Gonna eat this now. And and then I think we need to just get on the bikes even to ride around to cool down. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Get out of it. That's the thing what this heat does to you. It just makes you want to rush through things. I wouldn't say we're not appreciating it because we really are. I mean, I am sweating. Oh, I need to my waffle. Right, come off to eat this. Oh, look at that. Ooh. I wasn't so full, but it really is lovely here.
it to the ferry port. I'm just gonna sit on my girl a second. Ryan's just gone in, we've sorted the passports out. Belgium have had a spike in the virus, so we're having to quarantine when we get back, which is fine, we work from home, but it means that on the whole ferry there's only 11 passengers. I don't know, I think half of them are dogs as well. I've seen a couple of dogs, that's so cute. I've just come out here to take care of the bikes. Because if that bag goes missing, For the last three weeks anyway. It wouldn't be the end of the world, but it would be very sad for us to have lost that until I came back outside. But the woman on the desk was so lovely. She's also called Caroline. As I said, there's only 11 of us, so most things are shut because there's no point keeping it open for 11 people. So I think there's like a little cafe open and I mean, not that we really need food after all that. Like, I think it's a bit sad that we can't ride the bike. So. Had we have just gone and got the ferry from Holland instead of Belgium, we would have been fine. We wouldn't have had to quarantine, but you know, these things, these things are what they are. <sighs> Tiredness. See ya. Involved, as long as involved. food's involved, I can discuss things. Then I'll understand what I'm feeling. I can separate my hunger from my other emotions. But unless I have food, I can't do that. So we shall do that in a little while. Well, let's talk about your bike. Okay. What do you think of the deluxe? Oh, obviously I love my bike more than any other bike in the whole wide world. So that's... you got nothing ready to compare against. But was she comfortable? Yeah, of course, it's my bike. <laughs> I love my bike. I'm not going to bitch on that, am I? Next question. If you could do it all over again, what would you change? Oh, that's a good one. I know. I would take less stuff because we had no clue about going away traveling at all. We took a lot of stuff thinking we needed them, including thermals. Yeah, but that was for the first day. I took lots of layers, so lots of thinner clothes that I could just layer on and it, it would be warm, but I haven't used any of those. So I thought I would need two pairs of riding trousers because I thought three weeks in the same trousers would be gross, but it really doesn't matter. You've got undies, you wash them, it's fine. Although when they get soggy it's a pain, it was nice that I could swap mine out. Unlike me. Unlike you, who can and he had to sit in their sogginess. What would I take? I would take just purely undies and socks. One quick and, Thank you. Quick and easy dress to put on and off. Sandals, yes. Lip balm, a really good one. So what would you take? For me, one of the biggest things was what to do with the gear once we got off the bike. Yeah. If we yeah. are stopping somewhere, I think the idea of having the bike chains instead of a helmet lock, just using the bike chain and chaining it around the bike really helped. So we didn't have to carry the helmet around. I bought a foldable bag. We could just put our leathers in there, the, the stuff that we wanted to keep secure and we could walk away from the bikes and, and be confident in knowing that yeah. there wasn't anything of value that could really be nicked. It was those little bags, wasn't it? And then the yeah. other like Nike bag, we just fold up waterproof bag that we'd put our, our filming equipment and phones and everything in it and off we went that was good wasn't yeah it? and in terms of the actual bikes themselves mm -hmm. you know they are 2008 models mm -hmm. but they haven't missed a beat have they 
I mean, I think the Road King is, is just a phenomenal machine and just the, the ability to put on the cruise control and just sit there. How is the cru cruise control for you? I don't need it, dude, because my handlebars are so comfortable. What I would say is if you need to ride an armor when it gets to almost 40 degrees C, do not take a leather jacket. Get a mesh jacket. Some people who watch the videos will say that you should be riding in gear and your answer should to them be. would, would okay, be Okay, so it got to the point where I was about to pass out that I thought, well, I either take my jacket off and be okay and be able to ride or be riding and I actually fall off. And we had no choice. We had to move on, didn't we? So I felt it was safer to ride without my jacket. It was more of a chance of me falling off had I have kept that jacket on. It was really scary. And then we were making really poor decisions. So you know how they say don't ride in the cold because the cold makes you make decisions, bad decisions. I feel the heat does too because it, it'll make you rush because you don't want to stop anywhere. Um, yeah, you get panic. Yeah, you push it, and it's just not. It's not okay. It got crazy hot, and I know I've moaned about it a lot in these videos, so you guys get it. Coming away was Brian's on your bucket list, wasn't it? Yeah. Which is big, big dream. So, how do you feel now it's done? It's something which I've always wanted to do. So I think ever since you met me, I was I want to get a Harley and I want to tour. Would you, would you have rather toured with a, like a Harley gang? Uh, you have to say that because I'm here. I don't. Even after this afternoon when we fell out. <laughs> I think the shortest day we had was five and a bit. And some of the longer days was over nine hours on the seat. When you get irritable and stop enjoying it and just wanting to be there, that yeah. then defeats the whole purpose. I want to always be on my bike and always be loving it. I love it, yeah. We have to quarantine now for two weeks and to not get up and be on my bike, uh, I'm really gonna miss it if I can't do that every day. If there was one country that somebody was gonna tour, where would you recommend? The on a bike. On the bike. Of the 11 that we've been Ooh, to. Oh, it's hard. They're all so beautiful. Okay, but do you know what? It's not really fair because we've only just touched on country. I would say Switzerland has it all. Has it all, all, all. It's got, it's got the lakes, it's got the mountains, it's got the people. The roads are great, the views are stunning. Oh, it's just, it's magical. Which okay, country do you not think we did justice to? Slovenia. Yeah. The standout moment for you on the trip. What's your one then? Oh, I've got one. Standout moment? Yeah. So for me, I was driving into Lauter. Right. That was me as well. No, you can't. Take no, mine. I have no, 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 no. no I was no, gonna no. say that. Okay. I would say just the mountains. Every time I see them, they make my heart flip flop. But sometimes they get too much, and I can't be in them for days on end because I sometimes just want to ride. You know, and the mountain passes. You're not. You're not. You're riding, and it's really technical and it's fun. And I miss it when I'm not in it. But sometimes you want to do those. Those Austrian roads, you know, those la oh, Austrian roads are Austrian fabulous. Roads are great. Just so much fun to ride, and they're just long and windy and curves. You've got the mountains up both sides, and it's just the most peaceful, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, we've got some pudding. Yeah, let me show you. Can you see it? So I'm gonna turn this off now because I think you need a different view and I'm gonna finish this ice cream. The estimated time of arrival this morning is nine o'clock. Thank you. It was quite rough last night. It's like welcome back to England. Well there's a land. Oh fucking hell, it's cold. Good morning on day twenty-two. And we're just, well, we've got about an hour left, I think, on the ferry. And it's raining, unfortunately. But Welcome back to England. Boo. So we're just eating breakfast and then we're going to get all the stuff together for one last time and put it on the bikes. Oh.
one salt and pepper? Uh, that takes. Okay. Thank you. Last day, just in the cabin, just about to get into my leathers so we can ride. A um, bit of a grey day, which is fine because we're returning home and got things to do. On the motorway, I think it makes sense to go on the motorway. It's half the time to get home. I don't really want to do that, but at the same time, I'm really excited to get home now. So, so yeah, I'm not sure what we'll do. Brian's still at breakfast, so I'll just come back now and um, I'll quickly get dressed. Oh, there he is. Think about me one more time before you go. I've been feeling this way for far too long